Okay, hi everyone. This, uh, moving on. Day, game 2. Game 2, game 2, game 2, game 2. Game 1 was World vs. FL. For today, for day 2, game 2, it will be RC vs. CG. Seems like we're gonna have Ideshi coming out with a clerk. Alongside with RC Survivor, we have a psychologist, mercenary, anti current and a prospector. Overall, this isn't too bad. Overall, this isn't too bad, but... Mmm, what's this? This is an excitement clerk. Excitement clerk chasing after antiquarian. It's not a bad idea, but it's also not a good idea. It's simply just because of the fact that if you excitement one, if you excitement one, um, not one hook, one swing, you cannot excitement the next one, so it doesn't matter at the end of that point. Moving on, we just saw Clerk's Persona as well, so it's going to be a trump card detention with Mischievous and one stack of Berserker, one stack of Rage. You know, that didn't vault over that window there from Ivory side. It seems like City wants to come in to put down the pallet. Blinks out. Oh, wait, wait, that's not even blink. That's exciting. Eh? We're excitement. I'm I'm confused. You excitement a mercenary, but there's no point. You can't excitement that mercenary. You have to save it for the anti current though. Um, but then at least the good sign is the good sign is Ivory is kiting very close towards her own survivors. So here, as you can see, clerk very nicely done baiting out that one hit and didn't get the flywheel out properly from the anti current there. Um, she has two swings left. Anti current has two swings left, but. Yeah, a window lock scroll wouldn't really work against a, an anti current after all. It wouldn't work against anti current or acro bash. But Soba coming in once again to assist. That's not such a good idea, though. That's not such a good idea, though. I. Eh, eh, wait. Oh, nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Not like this. You cancelled the attack there as well. Uh, Cyphers isn't enough. We're missing Mercy Cypher. Mercy Cypher's at 40% right now. Mm, I feel like Anti Current rotated towards her survivor's cipher way too much. Because Anti Current solo containment is definitely very good, but if she's near her survivors, then you can't really disarm someone when you're near your teammates for Anti Current here. So gets it right there very nicely. That's a three quarter of the health of a Mercy right there. Prospector wanting to come harassing. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Uh. You know what? It's okay. You know what? It's not. It's it's not bad. It's it's still okay. It's still okay. But it's it's a basement. You know what? It's still okay. It's not bad. It's still okay. Right now, what has to happen is either psychologist comes and starts crouching, so that Mercy and Antiquarian can heal, or Mercy comes into crouch and then psychologist goes looks for the Antiquarian and both of them start healing. Cause Prospector will be on chair for 60 seconds, right? So it's probably better for them to sell here. Going into rescue is basically looking for death. Going to rescue is basically looking for death. So that's not recommended at all for those of you who want to rescue against a clerk, but you have no tide. It's not recommended. It's generally speaking not recommended. Even though like Prospector may have magnets, this is an excitement clerk. They all know it's an excitement clerk. The excitement used on mercenary early game is very scary though, honestly. But here as we can see, mercenaries shouldn't be coming in. I think staying very close towards the chair is all what's enough, but we can put, um, you know what, I'm gonna put my word down. If mercenary comes in, it's gonna be a lose for survivors. Gets, didn't get the hit there. No, gets there right there immediately. Doesn't have a, no, does have a normal hit scroll. Didn't really hit onto the mercy. Gets the rescue on the prospector. It doesn't matter here. Oh, that's a nice record. Wants to record on the mercy, but it seems like the prospector will be going down here. It's, it's a lose. It's a lose. It's a lose. The cypher may seem like it's enough, but it's an immediate teleport clerk. So bye bye. There goes the psychologist. Psycho being chased here immediately. This cypher is currently at 65%. Psycho puts down the pallet there herself just so she can block Psycho's way. But it seems like, looks at the cypher right now. It doesn't seem like there's anyone there just yet. Records onto the psychologist. Okay. Puts that down. Flyweasel a bit too early. And then the psychologist immediately right here breaks the pallet down, records the pallet breaking. Mercy's near that cipher, so probably would be better to chair near the merc. I spoke too soon. Uh, he's not chair near the merc. 
then it's best to lock the cipher if, if he's not sharing near the merc. Uh, you know what? No, just walk. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just walk. Just walk down and force the mercy to not decode that cipher. No, no, no. You need to walk down. You need to force mercy not to open that cipher. Ideshi, 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 ideshi. You recorded onto anti current anyways. There's no harm in walking back. There's no harm in walking back if you already recorded on the anti current. They're, they're hardly gonna force it. Oh no, I feel like they're gonna... Mm, they're gonna force it open. Ideshi! Walk back towards the cypher. You're really gonna tie this one. This should be a win game for you. Records onto the antiquarian once again. Ideshi's... No, not Ideshi's. Mercenary cypher being done right there. Mercy... Mm, Mercy. If Mercy manages to body block this one, then it's game over. But also... This next goal is in 14 seconds. This isn't good. This really isn't good. The cypher is almost prime from antiquarian side. Um, mercenary, no, 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 Ideshi, you kind of overextend it, you kind of overextend it, you overextend it, loud the elbow pad, no, 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 why, why was that, ne that was not necessary, Ideshi, gets the hit right there on the mercenary, uh, there's still a scroll on Antiquarian, thankfully, but there's no scrolls remaining right here, uh, you know what, there's still a chance. There's still a chance, there's still a chance. Either she has to look either she has to look for where 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 where, where, where psychologist is. Either she has to look for where psychologist is and then hit psychologist away from the chair. Either she either she look where psychologist is. Either she no psychos at the chair right now. Gets no damage rescue. Why? Why was that no damage rescue? Why would I why would you allow a full health merc? Why are you chasing after Merc now? Um Um No No, you might as well chase after the psycho there. Ah, uh, this, this, this is bad. This is really bad. Why are you looking back? No. No, what would be better there is, it's like, they know where the cipher opened. And then you know that psychologist ran towards that corner. So then, like, even if survivors do decide to open that gate, you, they can't. Because the moment that you pick Psycho up, Psycho can't contain. The moment that you pick Psycho up is the moment that they, they, they lose. They can't open the gates at all. But shit, teleporting. No, it's such a waste of a teleport. It's such bad decision making. It's right there. Gets the hit. Doesn't get the hit. It seems like Flywheel came out from Psychologist right there. Thankfully, should be able to contain for a little bit longer. Mm, it's huge mistakes here made by Ideshi. Really huge mistakes here made by Ideshi. The basic skills. The basic skills isn't bad, but the decision making is really bad. Here, as you can see, the gate is opening slowly but surely, but records records onto one of them, records onto the Antiquarian, but it doesn't seem well, it seems like Antiquarian was faster. Ah, uh, I thought, I, I even I thought that that was recorded on. There's still one chance. There's still one more chance. There's still one more chance. Who are you going to record it on? Who are you going to record it on? Okay, no, you're going to use it for yourself for the normal hit right. It gets it on the Antiquarian right there. Thankfully, needs to record once again and throw it out. Can you throw it out? Clerk, you need to throw it out right here. Clerk, mm, throws it out right here. It seems like Mercenary can tank it. The flywheel coming out from Mandy Curran and I become a tie. Uh, moving on to second half. Okay, moving on to game two. CG Survivor coming out against Orsi's Hunter. For last game, RC Survivors did, the, did what they needed to do. But they weren't, they weren't, it wasn't ideal. Their team comp wasn't ideal. Here we'll have CG coming out for survivors against Orsi's Aka. Ideshi's decision making last game was a, oh, was a little bit questionable. Sadly, I have to say it out. I have to say that it was a little bit questionable right there. And then we're straight towards middle right here. At least, at least the good news for you is you're a dream witch. So even if you do chase after someone, you can you can basically easily mind game them. It's gonna be hard here for Seer to really um like, like not to loop this dream witch. We can also see that dream witch is already cutting the corner right here, trying to catch up towards Seer as fast as possible. But it does seem like Seer's owl is gonna come out immediately right here, as we can see. Seer with an uh what's this? It's a flywheel. 15 seconds left on the flywheel, and the patroller comes out. This patroller should be I uh, should allow the dream witch to get a normal hit on Seer, but it also needs to throw out... Mm, seems like we're gonna get the follower close towards this here. And the flywheel's the patroller bite right there. I think that's the second bite right there. The third bite should be coming out really soon. They didn't get the hit right there, but they didn't really time it well as well with that patroller bite. Sadly, Pino Tada Seer is cur currently containing... We can see already see the 60 seconds already into the game, but Tree Cypher is already at 50%. This is, this is the problem with area uh, selection spawn as well. The moment that 
up, you spawn and you, you basically can touch a cipher. So the moment that survivor spawns in, we can already see that, you know, uh, they only took 5 seconds to look for, or well, 10 seconds to look for a cipher. And by the time that Seer is down, we can already see that it's 90 seconds into the game. The slowest cipher decoding here is the Wiling, which is at 80% currently. And by the time that Seer gets cheered, it's probably going to be around 1 minute 50. But there's a basement here at least, so that's not too bad of an... Uh, it wouldn't be too bad for... Oh, see, uh, no, for Seer, for Wiling to come rescue, but it does seem like he's managed to struggle free. But at the end of the day... It doesn't really matter. There's nothing you can do there, sadly. We can see that the last two ciphers are currently being opened. Here's the biggest problem. The biggest problem is Wiling has to rescue but not get a double down. The moment Wiling gets a double down, it's basically over for you. So what Wiling can do here is, is just to stall for some time. Like, go down when it's around 25% chair time. Seems like we're gonna come down a little bit early once again, which I don't know why, but I guess you can play a little bit more safe. Jumps down immediately, gets the hit. Seer is going to, both of them, they're gonna force both of them to go out, that's fine. Seer getting the hit right there, which is fine. It's just that the Wiling cannot go down here. Seer has to body block the Wiling. Seer has to body block the Wiling. No matter what happens here, Seer has to body block the Wiling. Wiling getting blinked down here immediately. Ooh! So, no cypherish potential anymore, Consider the fact that both of them got sound and both of them do have leech so no one can dispel the, the no one can de-leech them sadly uh currently we can see the anti is also nearby as well aka is doing a lot of a lot of a lot of uh multitasking here one with the cypher one with the chairing and the other one with the looking for where the wiling is to chair the wiling it seems like wiling will be picked up here a little bit earlier than expected just so then the dream can chair the wiling at least good news here is for end game there isn't much to be worried about but for our dream witch seems like he, she decided to drop down the wiling instead the thing is Mm, little girl coming to rescue. Oh, little girl has tied. I actually didn't see, I did not see the tide. Uh, Blink stared down immediately. He crouched. No, he didn't crouch. He walked for some reason. It's a bit, mm, bit more of a surprise. We do see that the Wiling picked up the uh, D leech mark, the, the purple mark, whatever. And Sears gonna go. Sears gonna go. Yeah, Sears definitely gonna leave now. Sears definitely gonna leave now. Best what they can do is to, is to start de leeching. So, uh, anti Korean at 99% de leech. There's no need for anti current to come into harass. This still does seem like a tie for me. The last three ciphers are basically 70% on average. Well, last two ciphers are basically 70% on average. And it's also with the fact that survivors needs to they need to heal somewhere. So they need to heal. They really do need to heal right there. Wilding at least can get off scotch free, but if it's if it's a little girl, then it's a whole different story. Little girl has to be very careful here. Now then it seems like they decided to force the last cipher open right there. GNK little girl forcing the cipher open, but it doesn't seem like that will be forced open anytime soon. From 92 back to 90% right here. Blink is ready in 15 seconds. Uh where little girl's a a bit of a pinnacle right here. A little bit of a pinch. I don't know, pickle. A little bit of a pickle right here. Uh, she's not gonna get sandwiched anytime soon, thankfully. 24 seconds remaining on the clock for the next leech to be ready. It seems like Yuto's leech is currently following him back. We do see the Wily managed to get a normal hit right there, and then the little girl has TP towards the Antiquarian. There was some... Oh, gets it down here. Okay, you know what, it's fine. I was about to say there was some miscommunications here and there because Wily was running towards those two, but they're probably not communicating, I guess. Mm, gets the leech on here. It's not too bad. The little girl currently finishing the cipher back there, but the last cipher is pretty darn far away. All what Dream Witch has to do here really is to, I mean, to allow Wiling to struggle free and then keep chairing the Wiling closer towards the cipher or chair near basement or chair near basement and have your own follower run towards that cipher. Uh, so those are the two choices you can make right there. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, it shouldn't be too much of a problem but a little girl hasn't reached towards the who got a hit right there didn't really get on board a little girl hasn't really reached towards that cypher just yet though i feel like he i feel like andy curry came in a little bit early now andy curry is going to be forced to use uh, to use her flute to use her bamboo to swing the wiling down now then gets the rescue right there it's a 99 percent primed immediately popping right here it's just that the board isn't ready just yet though at least there's still blink oh no whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. that's very nicely done by wiling actually and 
a very good grasp, a very, very, very good grasp of the Hunter's um, attack range right there from the Wilding side. It's just that the last Cypher is currently... The last the exit gate is not gonna open anytime soon and Wildling's leech will be on the chair. Meanwhile, Dreamwish can use her own follower to start camping here. Now Dreamwish needs to change back to main body so that she can relocate and find where the Antiquarian is. That's that's much of a bigger problem right now. We do see that the Antiquarian is nearby as well, but Dreamwish has to be a little bit careful here because of this arm. This arm is still very scary for Dreamwish, but it seems like during that time, we got to head down here, but you can't really tear this Wiling just yet. Little girl, so the gate open at 73%, though. This endgame is a little bit... It's a little bit... Dangerous, it's really dangerous. GNK trying to open the cipher once again at the gate. The gate is a 92, 94, 95, 98, 99. It's at 99 right now. Wow. Wow. Okay, gets the pick up, gets the drop down. Wilding Sleech will now be the leech. And the 45 seconds remaining, it's best for Antiquarian to. It's best for Antiquarian and for a little girl for both of them to start putting a little bit further away. Gate will definitely be open, that's fine. But it doesn't seem like they know where Dungeon is just yet. Andy Curry here can uh, vault them. She can vault them. No, she didn't manage to vault them there on time, sadly. Gets to hit them there immediately. If you look for a little girl here, then it's not such a good idea. Because the tension is going to be over soon. There's 20 seconds left. Can Dream Witch catch up? Can Dream Witch catch up right here is the real question. There's no blink here on the Dream Witch's followers. Hunt has already been up though. And... A charge stack here, getting the little girl down. Oh, that's a bit faster than we expected. And then holding on to the little girl as well. I don't think that anti can go anywhere anymore. Chairs the little girl most likely will be doing so. And does not see where the anti is just yet. No, we do see where the anti is right now. Pulls the leech back towards that chair. Should be able to leech onto the anti though. And then uh, we can see that Dream Witch's main follower is pretty far away from the chair right now. Changing once again, knows where Antiquarian's location is. Flywheel comes out immediately. Right here. We have a swing. Should be able to rescue. Gets to hit on little girl. I think hitting Antiquarian there probably would have been better. Because like she used up self-heal, so you might as well. Right, but I guess she was afraid of. I guess you, you. I guess you could say she was afraid of the swing. But here we go. Over the pallet hit right there. Let's congratulate Orsi Aka for the formal elimination. Moving on to game two.